hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to my kitchen guys you guys today i'm going to be showing you how i met this very 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 you guys i don't even know how to you know this explain or describe the taste of this yummy native rice this very delicious native rice i don't know how to put it like this is so 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 delicious you guys today i'm going to be showing you guys how i made it so i hope you like this video send a comment in the comment section subscribe and be a part of my family guys okay guys so for my recipes i'm going to be using three cups of rice and then i have this vegetable this is kale so you can use your spinach or you can use your pumpkin vegetable leaves you know yeah so i have some dry fish and then i have some fresh mackerel this is already clean then and in washed here, i have some ginger and i have my garlic gloves which i'm going to blend later then i have this dry fish you guys i have suddenly fallen in love with this dry fish just because the, of the aroma that it gives me whenever i'm you know cooking especially when i'm cooking something that i really want to test native kind of so i really love the aroma of this dry fish so i love to use it and then i have uh, one big onions and my no seasoning and then maggi seasoning and then here i have some prawns you guys the reason why i'm adding these prawns is simply because my crayfish is really really small i don't have enough crayfish anymore but then you can just do with only crayfish so i have some crayfish here this is just one spoon tablespoon full of crayfish and over here i have the main 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 ingredients kind of so guys yeah this is the real deal so this is my fresh palm fruit this is my banga so i'm going to be using that and then i have here some tomatoes i've already used this this is fresh tomato and they said it's chili you guys this thing is not chili at all to me so yeah i'm going to be using the remaining one that i have this my leftover and then i have my thyme i have my curry powder my table salt and i also have my fish seasoning and then my paprika so guys i started with boiling my rice so all i did was just to add my rice into the pot added some water and i allowed this to at least cook for 10 minutes so right now is after 10 minutes i just removed this and washed it and in washing it i made sure that i washed it like two or three times and made sure that i, I got very clear water so guys after washing my rice i'll leave it in the sifter and just set it aside so the next thing i'm going to do is to rinse my pot and you know put on the gas and i'm then going to pour the mackerel fish the fresh mackerel fish and from the onions i have i'm going to take half of the onions and you know add into the fish so i'm going to add my maggi this is one pair of maggi pair like two cubes of maggi so i'm just going to add the maggi i'm going to add some thyme i'll add my curry powder i'll add the paprika and then i'm going to also add some salt and you guys i'm going to add the fish seasoning just one teaspoon of fish seasoning and i'm going to add about two cups of water and i'll cover this and I, i'll allow it to cook for at least uh five to seven minutes at least seven minutes you guys so guys before i covered it i remembered that i hadn't added the fish seasoning so i needed to add the fish seasoning so i had to add one teaspoon of fish seasoning so guys after seven minutes the mackerel fish is at least almost done not very done but almost done so my idea is because i i'm going to fry this i don't want it to be so soft so i'm going to remove the mackerel fish and set aside and i'm also going to remove the stock and pour in a plate and also set aside so in the same pot i'm going to add some vegetable oil and i'll allow this oil to heat up a little and then i'm going to add the mackerel fish and fry this so 
so guys right now i'm adding some vegetable oil into the pot so this is the much i have right now as you can see so if you have more vegetable oil it's best to add more to cover your fish so i'm just going to add my fish into the oil after i have you know allowed the oil to heat up a little i'm going to add my fish and i'll allow this fish to fry for at least five to six minutes and, and i'll be i'll flip it after three minutes you guys yeah so what i want is just for my fish to fry and give me that golden brown color i'm not aiming for it to be very dry so if you want your fish to be very dry while you're you know frying you can fry for 10 minutes yeah so guys while that is frying i'm going to quickly blend the ginger garlic onions and scotch bonnet pepper i'll blend this adding some water i'll blend it and then also you know just leave it while i go back to the fish so now i'm going to flip my fish into the other side and i also allow it to fry so the total minutes that i'm frying for is about seven minutes so once this is done and has given me the golden color that i want i'm going to just remove it and set it aside and then i'm going to in that same pot i'll allow the oil to cool out a little and i'll remove the oil and pour it into something else like a plate and i'll use it for another food that requires you know um oil vegetable oil so yeah so guys you as you can see you can see that my pot has some leftover fish like pieces of fish and everything and you guys i love this so i'm still going to use the same pot to cook after removing my vegetable oil i'm going to then add the stock back the stock i got from the fish i'm going to add the stock back so once i pour in the stock i'm also going to add the ginger garlic scotch bonnet pepper and onions which are already blended and i'm going to add some water into the blender and also rinse it and pour it into it so the next thing i'm going to be adding you guys is going to be the tomatoes the fresh blended tomatoes which i already showed you guys i'll add that and then i'm also going to you know add the main ingredient which is my banga so i'll i'll add this and then so guys another name for banga is palm fruit yeah for the people that are not africans so guys i'm going to once i add this palm fruit i'm going to also stir very very well because the palm fruit is already very thick i'll stir this just to loosen it up and i'm going to cover it and i'll allow it to cook for at least 50, uh, 20 minutes but at least 15 minutes for now so the reason why i'm letting it cook is because of the sore taste from tomatoes so after 15 minutes you guys you can see that the oil has settled up and from the test the soreness is really really gone so the next thing i'll be doing right now is to add the dry fish and i'm also going to add the dry prawns i'm going to add some crayfish like the crayfish i have then i'm going to add the no seasoning i'll add some salt for test and i'm going to test this to see if i have enough salt but at this time i just feel like i don't want to add salt yet anymore for now so i'll cover this and i'll allow it to cook for another five minutes so the minutes. reason why i decided to add the dry fish and the prawns and crayfish now is just to make sure that the flavors from this the dry fish and prawns gets into this uh, stock that i'm preparing so i'm going to do this and i'll cover and allow it to at least boil for five minutes guys after five minutes i'm going to remove the dry fish just because i don't want it to be lost in this pot yeah i'm going to remove the dry fish at this time you guys the aroma in my kitchen is wonderful like it is heavenly you guys i love this dry fish i don't know this dry fish is so good it will give you that like it will give you that local homemade kind of you know fish dry fish flavor so yeah i'm going to remove it and i'll set it aside and i'm going to serve it just like that because i don't want to I don't want to break it and then i'm going to pour in the rice so once i pour in the rice i'll stir this very well to make sure that you know the sauce gets into the rice very well and then i'm going to test i tested and i decided to add a little more salt so once i add a little more salt you guys i'm going to you know cover with my foil paper and 
the pot cover and i'll allow this to cook for at least 15 minutes yeah So guys after 10 minutes i decided to check like the the flavor i'm getting is just so much and yeah so right now it's giving me that smoky native flavor so i'm just going to check after 10 minutes and i decided that the best thing is to add the kale vegetable leaves yeah so i added the kale vegetable leaves and steered very very well and i'll also cover this and allow it to cook for another three minutes you guys after three minutes this rice is so 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 done and the flavor i'm getting the aroma i'm getting is heavenly like it, it is so 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 sweet you guys and you need to test this rice when i tested it i was like why have i not been eating native rice all this while like this tastes so good guys this test i don't even want to talk too much i think you should try it someone should try it and please let me know this test really really good so yeah after three minutes this rice is so done this rice is so smoky so guys yeah this is my native rice very very yummy very very sweet you can you know eat this with some drinks or you can even have this with some salads and you guys i later added some spring onions into it and it is so sweet guys so yeah thank you so much guys for always watching and always tuning in and please if you're new to my channel or you're coming across my video for the very first time please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and be a part of my family and to all you my amazing and wonderful subscribers my returning subscribers i love you guys so much thank you so much guys for always being supportive and always being there you guys thank you so much guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys